The teaching that you can actually cut a zipper with wire cutters uh, is um, widespread. And, uh, but there's some of us who actually doubt that uh, this uh, teaching is accurate. It may actually be a myth. So today we're actually going to um, uh, do a little experiment here. Uh, Dr. Uh, Corey is, um, how, how tall are you? 6'3". Six 6'3", three. Six three. all right. Do you lift weights or anything like that? Uh, used to. Used to, okay, <laughs> all right. Let's, sh let's see a bicep. Let's... Okay, that's good, that's good, all right. So you're actually going to, uh, the rules of this, the rules of this uh, process is that this zipper has to stay on the bed and you're allowed your choice of two tools, two wire cutters, and what you're going to do is you're going to try and cut the median bar on this zipper. Uh, now this jacket was donated by a child who left it here in the emergency room a year or two ago, and it's been laying around, so uh, uh, nobody's going to be deprived of this jacket. But uh, we're going to time you, and we're going to see uh, how rapidly you can actually uh, cut this zipper. All right. Are, are you ready for this challenge? I'm ready. Okay, and and we we'll, we will actually have a clock here uh, to time it. And uh, so, uh, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and and have you try and uh, cut that zipper. All right. I'm start, start the time. With the, uh, the big ones here. All right. Having a hard time getting the teeth on the bar there. All right, I'm going to give the smaller ones a try. I can I can I can cut what I can grab, but I just can't grab enough of it with that one. Okay, so you're about 36 seconds so far. Yeah, I'm not making a lot of progress. Try the bigger ones again, I guess. Now, Corey, imagine that there might be a um, a little prepubertal boy's uh, penis <laughs> attached to this. Uh, so, it um, I don't want to put any pressure on you. Can I try to grab more, or just the, just the median bar there? Just the median bar. That's that's the uh, common teaching. Let's see what time it is. We've been doing this now for uh, a minute and uh, about 34 seconds, 35 seconds. Okay, we're back to the smaller wire cutters. All right, so while he's working on that, uh, now you were saying that your father actually works for a zipper company. He's, yes, he, he does. That he, uh, it was zippers that put you through medical school, through college and, and medical school. That's correct. All right. Uh, uh, do you know anything about zippers? Are you uh, kind of a uh, expert on zippers? Uh, With that, gro having grown up around zippers your entire life? Well, whenever we've had them stuck in something like a sleeping bag at my house, um, we're able to just pull and tug to get them loose, but obviously with skin, do you, do you know when zippers were first invented? I am not aware of that date, no. We're going to have to ask your dad for yes, some of this I'll have information. To, uh, phone in my dad, phone okay. a friend. Okay, yeah, phone all a friend. <laughs> all right, let's go back to the zipper. All right, I, don't, I think I've made as much progress as I'm going to get. I just I can't get the, the teeth of the uh, clippers into that, around that median bar. So I just made maybe two or three millimeters of progress, and I don't know how far that bar goes back. But that's but, about but, all I can but, get. But Corey, the textbooks say we should be able to do this. These are like these are like authoritative textbooks are telling us that we can actually cut this with the wire cutters. I feel let down. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Nice try, man. All right. You're a failure. <laughs> a nice man. So Corey, the attempt to cut the uh, the zipper with uh, wire cutters was not successful. That's right. But there's other recommendations, uh, and one of them is to take a flathead screwdriver and uh, to pry the bars apart, and then release the zipper that way. 
So we're going to go ahead and give that a try. So again, we'll time you and uh, we'll see if that works. So using a flathead screwdriver, wedging it in there, um, and and prying the uh, the two parts of the zipper apart. Oh, making some progress now. Making progress. Look at that. There you go. All right, so. The bar was partly cut, so uh, um, the, you know you, you you helped yourself a little bit on that, but uh, that actually may be the faster way of doing things. So I think yeah, it looks like the part of the bar that I actually cut was less than a quarter of it. Yeah, and then when I started prying, it broke. Yeah. So so actually breaking the zipper, breaking the zipper may actually be the faster way of uh, zip doing a zipper release. And I look, go back over here, and the time here um, is, I'll get it focused. Looking at the time, that was under a minute, actually, that you had done that. So congratulations, Corey. You're my hero again. All right. All right, today we are going to uh, be the Mythbusters. And uh, what we're, uh, we're going to investigate is whether or not the recommendations that uh, you can um, break a zipper with uh, wire cutters is actually uh, and, and do it in a timely fashion whether or not it's actually true so uh, uh, so Corey Corey is, is going to uh, have the options of doing two different uh, tools that he'll, he'll work with uh, here's the zipper and oops what is that in there <laughs> okay there might be something attached to that zipper we're not sure but uh, at any extent uh, Corey how much do you weigh Weigh about 240. Uh, how tall are you? 6'3". Let's, let's see your biceps. Okay, good, good, perfect. All right, so we got, we got the right man for the job here. So we're also going to time you. We're going to ask the time and see how, um, how fast um, you can, you can um, uh, break the zipper. Uh, right. and, you're gonna, and what you're going to do is you're going to just uh, try and cut that bar. And the, the game rules are is that you have to keep the, uh, the z uh, zipper laying flat, um, um, attach that appendage down there, and um, that, uh, uh, and you can use, but you can use either of those tools. Are you right. ready? I'm ready. Go. Start the clock. Don't cut me. You're allowed to make sound effects if you want. <laughs> Let's watch Ow. the time. Pull, pull, the, pull the clock back a little bit. My life is in your hands, Corey. So I'm having a hard time getting the, the teeth on the little metal bar there. I'm going to try the smaller ones. Okay. What's the time? 34 seconds? No pressure, Corey. Good grip, and I just can't get it to. It's making me nervous here. That's the closest I've come yet. Oh. Oh, oh you broke off the. Okay. I'll try the bigger ones again. I just can't get enough leverage with those little ones. A minute, 21 seconds, 22 seconds. So while he's doing that, uh, Tricia, I understand your father works for XYZ Zipper Company. Is that true? Oh, no, that's YKK Zippers. Oh, it does. Okay, in real life, he does. So, tell, do you know anything about zippers? Tell us a little bit about zippers. Well, they've been around since the 1800s, but they weren't really popular until they're only 1900s. So, I'm sure this problem has been happening for decades. Okay, okay. Corey, what's going on? You know, I just. Just going after that center bar there, I don't think I can get it with the pliers. Um, I could I could try another angle or something, but I don't think I'm going to get it the way I was trying. Okay, all right. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to get you a flathead screwdriver. All right. Okay. Let's let's try method number two here. Uh, and uh, okay, try that. Let's see how all that right. works. So this is another method here. 
How's that? Uh, how's that digit doing down there? Is that doing good? It's making me nervous. <laughs> um, Rightfully so. As you, as we as we know that uh, uh, zipper injuries occur most commonly to uh, prepubertal boys, and it's uh, it's usually another appendage that's caught. It's the penis, and uh, so uh, we're we're simulating that process here. The textbooks tell us that you should be able to cut that bar. I mean, all the major textbooks. Uh, that you should cut that, that bar connecting the two plates of the zipper and uh, with wire cutters. And uh, so I think we have uh, sufficiently demonstrated that that is a myth. That, you can uh, go from the back that, side. Give that a shot. Ah, that might be it. There, there is an article that talks about using a, um, a flathead uh, screwdriver to... Uh, um, there we go. Congratulations. <laughs> My finger feels better. <laughs> Thank you, team. You did a wonderful job. Good work, everybody. <laughs>